It is a freezing morning around minus one now with highs of just three degrees today. So if you're out and about, make sure you wrap up warm. We're going to be getting an update on the outfit. Nice in the middle of winter and in the middle of the night, here in Kent, they harvest tomatoes. An army of pickers marches to work. And today, I'm joining them. Morning. Morning, Philippa. How are you? Freezing. Yeah, you can take off your winter stuff now. Yeah? Leaving winter outside, suddenly I feel like I'm walking into summer. <gasps> Goes on forever. It is, isn't it? What an enormous place! Is this what happens to me? Wait, is this what happens to me if I stay in this greenhouse? I turn into the size of you. Have you spent too long in the greenhouse? I have. <laughs> Dutch tomato guru Gert van Stralen is a big man with an even bigger office. Gert's hoping his greenhouse will give him a bigger bite out of the UK tomato business, worth over £600 million and growing. UK farmers only meet about one-fifth of our demand, so there's plenty of room for them to expand their market share. So if I look down there, I can hardly see the end. If I look down there, I can hardly see the end. How big is it? It's about 25 acres or 10 football pitches. This one greenhouse, this one building is 25 acres? It is, yeah. So how many tomato plants does that translate to? We have about 400,000 plants in the greenhouse and we'll be <laughs> producing about 50,000 kilos of tomatoes this week. We are the only ones in the UK that do this, producing fruit through the winter. Fifty thousand kilos of tomatoes in the middle of winter? How does Gert do it? Like his plants, I'm heading up towards the rising sun to find out. This is an altogether very different view. <gasps> Goes on for miles! This is where it happens. We've got blue sky today, and it's easy to forget that it's absolutely freezing. It is. And obviously we were in here since it was dark. So how are you managing to grow tomatoes in the middle of the UK, in the middle of winter? The secret is this Formula One greenhouse. We have all the ingredients that you need for perfect plant growing. During the winter months, daylight just isn't enough. So these huge lights illuminate and heat the greenhouse 16 hours a day. Buying electricity off the grid would be expensive. So this greenhouse has its own gas-fired power station. The waste heat is fed back into the glasshouse. They also pipe waste carbon dioxide from the power plant into the tomato plants. The extra CO2 increases photosynthesis, so they grow quicker. These plants are so happy. Yes, they are. You can absolutely see. They're much bigger than any tomato plant I've ever grown. That's because the conditions are perfect for growing. The plants grow about a foot per week. A foot a week? A foot a week, yeah. That's extraordinary. We actually have more light available to the plants than a Spanish or Italian producer would have. Outside? Outside, correct. So in here, it's better than the Mediterranean? It is. Gert is able to control every aspect of the growing environment. He's regulating the temperature and making sure his tomato plants have all the food and water they need. It's this high-tech greenhouse that allows Gert to produce his tomatoes year-round. Tomatoes picked today should taste just as good as those harvested in the summer. But I still haven't tasted one yet. You can lay out all the tomatoes you want, but my deep belief is that I will never find another tomato to match the first one of the year that I pick off the plant in my own greenhouse. Philippa, you couldn't be further from the truth. 
there's one particular variety Gert thinks will win me over. This is called piccolo. That's the perfect tomato. Really sweet, with just enough crunch. So is it better than Fresh. yours? Not nearly as good as mine, but you're, you know, nine out of 10, you're nearly there. Yeah, thank mm. you. <laughs> Some question the energy cost of growing tomatoes in Britain in winter. Gert would argue it's no worse than shipping them in from Spain or Holland, where they're grown in similar greenhouses. In the end, it's our insatiable appetite for tomatoes that fuels the development of facilities like this and keeps the tomato harvest going year-round.